Hi, this is Kimberly with My Craft Spot, and some of you asked for a tutorial uh, showing how my daughter made this card and, and how, how I did the shoe on this card. So, we're going to do a tutorial, but I'm going to make a different one. Different colors. I thought I'd try a little more vintage colors this time. So, it's from the Happy Hauntings cartridge, and I cut it, the shoe and all of its wonderful layers at 5 inches. And I cut two of this layer so that this will be able to open up into a shape card. Okay, so I'll show you that part later. So we'll put that aside. And then I've already started lacing the ribbon, so this, I don't know if you can see this one very well. Okay, so I did that one in the green, and, and this, I think, is my mind's eye paper, and this, and with the embossed dot, I think is die cuts with a view. I'll put it on my blog and I'll look and check and make sure. Okay, the first thing I did, out of the green paper, I used my Martha Stewart punch to um, punch a little piece out of the green. And then I trimmed it, and you can see how I trimmed it inward so that it would uh, be hidden behind the suit. And I did tape it so it would be right where I wanted it. And then I'm going to also go ahead and adhere it with some, some glue. Okay. Now, the next thing I did, I think what you guys wanted a tutorial for was all the, the fun ribbon work. So I'm going to show you that. This is the marmalade. It's a little darker than the candy orange. It's got uh, some more staining and different fun things in it to make it go with the vintage look a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and run a line of, of glue. The ATG gun works really good with this technique. Okay, so you fold one in under a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and let it go off at an angle at the first. And I'm going to take a little piece of the glue off of my ATG gun, put it right there, and it kind of works as a as a glue dot. Okay. Then I'm just going to gather it as I go. And if you hold it up to the light, you can kind of see where the background is. Okay, when you get to the end, turn it off. And you're going to want to do the same thing. I just roll, I squeeze the trigger and I roll it just a little bit and just grab a little piece of the piece And stick it right there. Okay, so there's the front of the card. Put it up against some black. You can see the ribbon is all gathered and pretty. And then I think this, this little punch added a fun touch to it. So, the next part, see this, this goes over on top of this. So the next part is to put ribbon in this section right here. So the exact same thing, you just put the adhesive down, follow the curve of the shoe. Okay, so once again you fold it over and start it in there and uh, a little piece of adhesive right there. So just in the fold. Okay. And just start gathering. So now we have this fabulous ribbon border for our shoe. <clears throat> okay, so that's how I did the ribbon part. Okay, now the next part is to lace, lace it up. Now I strung, okay, I'll show you on, on a different color that I'm going to work on later. Okay, so just put the ribbon through like that. about halfway through, and then as you're coming up, you're going to hide this ribbon in back and then start looping through. So I'll show you on this that I've already started. See, as I'm going up, I'm hiding the ribbon, 
and I'm even twisting it a little bit so it'll be smaller. And then so I'm holding that in place and I put a little piece of scotch tape on here so that it's easy to thread through these smaller holes. And if you want, you can twist it a little bit as it goes to um, I'm just basically sewing, I guess, and keeping that in behind tucked so that I, I catch it as I'm lacing my little shoe here. Okay. And the last one. Okay, now there's ends, so I can tie a bow. Now you can go ahead and, and you know, Pull these apart a little bit, tuck some under so that the green shows. Like that one's kind of a, a bigger one, so I might tuck that under a little bit. Okay, now the next part is to adhere it right here on the shoe. And then that just leaves a little ruffled edge. Okay, now this one's a little more complex. Trying to get this one to stick down. And so, run your glue over there really well. And I know there's holes, and so the glue's going to come through. But then what you need to do is go back on the other side and just with your finger um, move some of that glue out of the holes. Okay, so now okay, so now we're going to come and stick this right onto the shoe. And it goes and push it down really good. If you still have excess glue in there, you can fix that a little bit. Okay, so there is our shoelaces ready to be tied. But let's put the rest of the shoe together first, and we'll tie it last. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is adhere this top piece. You want plenty of adhesive because these little spots you don't want them to, to stick out. So now we're just going to line this up on the shoe. So we want the back of the card to not show all of this raw ribbon and whatnot. So what we're going to do is I cut out a third one of these. I was thinking about using this color on another shoe, but Change my mind, so we'll just use this as the back of this one. So, turn your card over, and then we're going to go ahead and put lots of adhesive again on this. And especially on the smaller section. We're going to go ahead and cover up the back of that card so it's a solid, solid color. And that looks better. Okay, and then I uh, took another. So you're going to cut three of this piece one from the pattern and two that are just going to be the insides of the card. And so I took and I scored right there about half inch down. And this is how my card's going to open without bending the front. So I'm going to put that together, line that up at the top. Okay, so now my card opens just like that without bending the top. It's all ready to tie a bow and put the tag on. So let's go ahead and do the tag. Um, I cut out of the same black as was right there. I cut with my uh, Fiskars shape 
my Fisker shaped edge scissors and just went ahead and made a square rectangle. And I cut some green. And then I stamped this already and inked it with brown and then went around the edges lightly with black. Anyway, and this comes from the Candy Corn Kisses stamp set. What a bad witch where she's a feather. And so let's go ahead and put that one together. Now on this one, I just barely, barely left just a tiny edge. I only just wanted a little tiny bit of green on there. And attach it to the tag. Okay, so there's our fun tag so far. So I'm going to get my crocodile and that lined up and punch a little hole in the corner for the ribbon to be threaded through. Okay, so we'll just pull that through and I'm going to tie our bow. Really tight, and then lighten up the loop. And we'll let this fly that way. Alright, and then we'll cut those a little bit more. Okay, so there's our little bit different vintage style. Okay, and it opens up. Thanks for watching.